All right, what's up guys? Uh, I just want to make a video quick for you uh, to talk about some hamstring mobility. Uh, so some things you're going to need today are a band here for some exercises later on, uh, a softball size ball. This is a uh, Mobility Watt Supernova. It's got some grip to it, which is nice, but the, the best thing about it is that it's a little bit larger than the lacrosse ball that we'll need as well uh, for working on our hamstrings. Because they're so meaty, it's really hard to kind of get the ball here to get deep enough into the tissues to get any real good work done. Uh, so I would recommend something like this or a softball uh, to work on. So have those things ready. And yeah, so the first thing we need to talk about is a little bit about what the hamstrings are uh, and how they work so that we can get an idea of why we need to mobilize the way that we do. Uh, hamstrings are a two joint muscle which cross the hip and the knee and allow us to do a couple of motions, hip extension here and knee flexion. So we're gonna have to work them in a little bit of a different way all the way down the length here on both sides. And then we also wanna focus on two, which sometimes people forget about, is this adductor portion of our thigh that does have some uh, hip extension motion available to it as well. So we're gonna work on that. Uh, and yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing I would do is start working on this high hamstring portion, which is right about where the sit bone starts. Uh, we can grab a hold of this supernova ball, and then I'm gonna show you from the side, we wanna sit down right on top of it, and we can just do kind of motions back and forth, like we're used to doing, and then grinding from side to side, and just kind of working around through there. If you find any spots that are a little bit more uh, tender or tight, then we can spend a little bit of time uh, tacking and flossing them down by simply putting pressure right on that spot and then extending the knee here to get a little bit more um, pull through that muscle. This is going to be more important as we move down. So what we can do is just work this thing further and further down into the thigh. Same thing, paying attention to work both the outside portion of the hamstring and the inside portion going back and forth, finding any spots where we feel that tightness and again just tacking it down, stretching it out. Same thing all the way down. Keep moving it and spend about you know a minute or so in each portion, maybe divide your thigh up into three or four little sections working back and forth, grinding all the way through there, and then tacking and flossing the areas that feel a little bit tighter. Uh, so after we've worked from about there down to the knee, the next thing we need to focus on is the portion of the hamstring which crosses the knee joint, and then the part of the calf that comes up and crosses the other way, because that can give us a little bit of tightness in that knee extension portion that people usually feel it when they're bending forward, they have that tightness in the back there. Uh, what we want to do again, focusing on both inside and outside portions, we can grab this ball, put it down near the very end of the hamstring, squeeze it in real tight, and then we're just going to focus on moving that leg around back and forth, kind of any way that we can find stretch, just work it in there, grind it back and forth until we feel it kind of loosen up. And then we would switch it to the inside portion here, same thing, pinning it real close to the end of that hamstring, top of the calf, and then we can just sit on top of it and just grind away in there a little bit, spending about a minute or so, again, on each side. Uh, then what I would do after we focus on all the hamstrings is go back to this adductor portion like we had spoken about. And we're gonna end up meeting both balls for this. Um, what you can do is slip this larger ball underneath the portion of your thigh, your inner thigh there, spin it out so it's in this adducted position so we have some length, and then you're going to press the other ball down across on top of there so we're getting a good pinch, and then we're just going to flex and extend that leg again, and you'll feel it pulling all the way through there. And we can do this in a few different spots, just all the way down the meat of that adductor portion. Uh, so I would, again, spend about a minute in each one of those sections there. Um, once we get done with that, we can do a little bit of band work. Uh, so what you'll need here is our band. And we're gonna do some pretty global stretching here with this. So we'll just loop the band around the foot here, get the leg nice and straight, bring it all the way up as high as we can, and then work on just pulling down against the resistance, keeping that knee straight. Maybe 10 or 15 reps of this. 
And then after we get done with that, we're gonna work on straightening the knee out. So we wanna get that hip as high as we can and then just work on pushing in to that band. Again, 10 or 15 reps of that. So that's a pretty good way to get some good mobility in for your hamstrings. Uh, if you're having problems, which is bending over and touching your toes, this is a good place to start. Uh, sometimes there's some other things that cause problems with that, but hamstrings usually are a big payoff thing. Um, if you feel like your hamstrings are constantly tight, a thing you may want to investigate is uh, quad tightness. You can just check really easily if you cannot touch your heel to your butt then there's a good chance that you need to do a little bit of work in there. Uh, we can save that for another video. Uh, as always, if you guys have any questions, please just give me a call here at the clinic. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.